Oh, well, you heard that music. It was magnificent. Now, this evening, the opera group Forte will kick off Gauteng Opera's 2015 season with a concert at the Linda Auditorium in Parktown, Johannesburg. The concert will feature opera classics and contemporary standards performed by these three magnificent Forte soloists. Mm -hmm. Kumbezile, we've got Peña and we've got Cajiso and they're all in studio with us. It's so good to have you all. Thank you. Thank well you. done. What a beautiful, beautiful performance. Thank I must say so that much. was Thank you very much. stunning. Well done to you, especially in the early hours of the morning. It's yes. never nice. Yes. Never yeah. nice. How long does it normally take you to warm up? Do you sort of, before a show, how long? Uh, about 30 uh, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So you warm up for 30 minutes before a, yes. before a yes. show? Yes. Yeah before you get yes, going. Yes. So the mornings are never nice for opera. Oh, yes. <laughs> in the mornings no. it will take long. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's why late concerts are always good. Yes. <laughs> um, so, so this is a, is, is a magnificent thing. I mean, we're moving from Pretoria to Johannesburg yep. mm -hmm. and it's, a, it's quite a big move. Um, yes. And let's talk about it. So why, why did you guys want to join the Gauteng Opera? Well, it, Gauteng Opera initially it was black tie ensemble. And uh, for us, because we are opera singers uh, trained at school and you know, you just want to be part of an uh, opera company, a, an op a company that produces opera. So that's why we wanted to be a part of uh, Gauteng, Gauteng Opera. Yeah, yes, yeah, to okay. Be, to be in this uh, vibe of opera. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. All right, how were you selected to be a part of uh, Am I saying it right? Forte, is yes. that how Forte, yes. How, how are you, how, how were you selected? Let's we, begin with you. Um, we cool. went through auditions. Yes. All right. Like, I, I'm from Durban. I, they came to Durban to audition, and here I am right now. Yeah. I was one of the lucky ones. Wonderful. So you were, you were from Durban. You were from? I'm from Sochanguve. Sochanguve, and you're I'm from? I'm from Harangua. Harangua. So they did nationwide auditions for this? Yes. yes. And how many people were actually sort of shortlisted? Do you know? Oh, no. Or no. you were just chosen no. there and there? Yes. Yes. You were chosen there and there. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you come from such diverse places, but where was it that you began to sing opera? Let's begin. You, you start, you're from Sochenguve. Yes. Where did you fall in love with, with, with opera? At school. I studied in uh, Butovuti High School. Then in 2003, they, I joined the school choir. Then I had them, they was doing opera. And I started singing there. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, then after that, I joined the Black Tie Ensemble. Oh, so you were part of the Black yes. Tie Ensemble. Yes. Okay. Then, yeah. And so this was the next progressive move. Yes. Um, what about you, Penny? Where, where, where did you begin doing opera? Oh, yes. Uh, I come from a family where soccer is for boys. You know, every boy in the in the house plays soccer. Yeah. And until I went to high school, and my teacher from high school, Mrs. J. C. Motswani, the late Mrs. J. C. Motswani, introduced me to this opera music because I joined the choir and she said, "No, you have a beautiful voice. Re sing, sing a solo for the for the school choir." And I say I represented Northwest at the national uh, competitions, and from there I never stopped. Wow, amazing! I mean, and your voice, I, oh, Kumbuzila, it's amazing. <laughs> Where did you start? Where was singing born for you, and opera in particular? Oh, okay, um, I can say that also in my family, we a family that sings a lot. So almost everyone was part of the church choir at some point. So also I started at the, at the church choir and then at school as well. And until I sang solos for schools and when the school competitions introduced opera, uh, because I was a soloist in the choir, I sang um, some opera stuff until I got more interest in it. And then I went to enroll at university and here I am now. Yeah. Ah, that's wonderful. I mean, the slogan for Gauteng Opera is opera is for everyone. And that's never been the case. You know, opera, <laughs> it really hasn't. It's always no, it's been mm. seen as a very elitist mm. thing yeah. and for a very fancy, snobby kind mm. of audience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you, you did the move perfectly well. But what has changed? Because it has changed. Yeah, it has um, changed. What, what has changed is that, um, you know, we realize that there's a lot of people that are not, young people especially, that are not interested in this art form. 
uh, they love other genres like hip hop and this and that. Um, and we at Gauteng Opera, we take opera to the people. We do school tours, we go to schools and we, we sing opera to these young people. We tell them what is opera, we, we teach them actually what is this opera music that yeah. we're doing. So that, you know, it, it's better to, 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 to uh, plant the seed on the young ones yeah. first, you know. So. Lovely, so it's from that early age yes. to make it accessible to them. And then of course there's the, the, the Gauteng Opera Academy. Um, which of course is offering young talented singers an opportunity to do this and there's a program as well. Do you know much about this program? Have you, have you been through the program? <laughs> yeah, I was You're the man. I was. <laughs> 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 the man. Yes. Yeah, I was through the, the, the program. Okay. Yeah, they teach us about opera. We do everything that, almost everything that they do in the universities. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we learn about opera and about the music history. Fantastic. Yes. All right, finally, um, the show. It's happening tonight, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, so talk to me about it. It's at the Linda Auditorium. Are tickets still available? Can people still book? get there? Yes, yes, there are still tickets available. People can still book on Compute Ticket, yeah. at Compute Ticket or they can uh, buy the tickets at the venue as well. So there's still more tickets available. For okay, people. what yeah. time does it begin at? At 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock this evening. Eight o'clock, yes. All right, so 8 o'clock this evening at the Linda Auditorium in Park Town. Uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, here in studio with us, Forte. And the members of Forte are Kumbuzile Dlamini, Peña Modiane, and Cajiso Borroco. It's been a pleasure having all three of you. And what beautiful voices, and we wish you the best of luck for tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Thank you for It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. All right. Uh